There's a rule in fishing that you should fish where the fish are. Well, the same is true for connecting and communicating with the scouts and families in your pack, troop, team, post, ship, or crew. If you want to reach them, go where they are. And these days, a whole bunch of them are on Facebook and other social media sites. Today, in this short video, we'll teach you the basics of setting up a Facebook page for your scout unit. We'll also share some do's and don'ts to keep in mind as you bring your unit into the world of social media. If you're like 70% of Americans, you already have a Facebook account. That makes the next step easy. Once you're logged in to your personal account, go to facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash create to begin the creation process. Facebook will guide you through the rest. You'll want to set up a public fan page. The key is public, which ensures that anyone who wants to learn more about your unit can find it. Include the time and location of your unit's weekly meetings for anyone who might want to visit, and make your cover photo a signature image of what your unit's all about. If you're a troop or crew that emphasizes high adventure, make the photo something that reflects that. Remember, this Facebook fan page could be your first impression for some who visit. Speaking of, Keep in mind that there are two types of people who will visit your page. The first is current scouts, scouters, and their families. They want to connect with other scouts and scouters, learn about upcoming meetings and activities, and see photos from recent events. The second type of visitor, prospective scouts and their families. These are your potential customers, so treat them as such. They want to find contact info for leaders in case they have questions. They want to visit your unit's website if you have one, so include that URL. And if you're lucky, they want to visit your unit, so include when and where your unit meets. A lot of this basic information can go on the About page. Fill in as much as possible. Remember that you might be competing against other units for a new scout, so the more information you provide, the better your odds of recruiting that scout. Once your Facebook page is up and running, keep feeding it new content frequently. Post something at least once per week, but no more than two times per day. Any less than weekly, and you risk losing your audience and your momentum. Post too frequently, however, and you could lose them as well. With that in mind, we've put together several do's and a few don'ts for your Facebook page. First, here are some things you can do. Create multiple administrators for your Facebook page, including your top youth leaders. This will help your page be updated more regularly. Youth protection rules require you have at least two adult administrators on your page. Speaking of, maintain too deep leadership online, meaning no one-on-one -on -one contact between adults and youth via social media messaging or email. Post consistently. Update your Facebook page weekly, at least, so your users remain active. Encourage interactivity. Ask questions and solicit feedback. You could consider posts that ask, what was your favorite part of our camp out last weekend? Or, post photos of your scout's Pinewood Derby car. Or, what are your packing tips for our Philmont trip next month? Conform to the scout oath and law in anything you post and moderate comments to make sure that nobody posts anything inappropriate on your page. Consider your Facebook page a public bulletin board. It's your responsibility to make sure it stays friendly, courteous, and kind. Check your page frequently. Yes, you're looking for content that's inappropriate, but you're also seeking out questions you can answer from scouts or prospective scouts. And now for the don'ts. Don't post last names of youth members in a public place that anyone can see. Don't share a scout's phone number, address, birthday, or other identifying information. Don't create a fan page that you can't maintain. Be sure you have enough volunteers to keep it moderated and up to date. Don't say anything online you wouldn't say to a person's face. That's true of any website. Speaking of, there are many other social media channels out there that today's scouts and adventurers use every day. Consider whether giving your unit a presence on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Vine, Pinterest, or Tumblr would benefit the unit's ability to recruit and retain scouts. Thank you for agreeing to be your unit's membership chairman. You can find many more helpful tips inside the BSA's social media guidelines. The easiest way to find them is by Googling Boy Scouts Social Media Guidelines.